Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to review the Lenovo 24-inch Tiny in One Monitor. This is actually a 23.8-inch 1080p uh, IPS LCD display, but it also accepts a Lenovo Tiny PC to become a Tiny in One, which is a lot like an all-in-one, except it's actually repairable and upgradable, and they do work separately as well as together, which is what I really like about this design. It has a 1080p webcam, dual microphones, and speakers built in as well. So let's take a look. Starting from the front, right now it's basically just a monitor. You've got a 1080p HD webcam that does roll and is angleable, which I like. I do like that you can hide it as well. You've got front-facing speakers, standard monitor buttons, and a power button, which also does turn on a tiny PC if you integrate one. It does have a USB on the front, which I do really like how accessible it is. It does swivel a bit, but not a full 360 degrees. Um, this does go up and down, which I do really like. You've got power, display port, and a USB 3. The power works as a monitor or to power the tiny in one and the monitor. Display ports for an external you know, computer. And then this is what passes through the touch as well as your USB here on the side. To install a tiny PC, first you have to remove this shield by pushing at the bottom and then it pops out. Then you want to come around to the side and pop this up and move it out of the way. Once I do that, you can see, let me turn the light up here, you can see that there are jacks in there. Let's see if we can get a good view. Yep, so you can see the jacks that are going to go into the tiny when we get it connected. All right, so you're going to take the tiny PC. This is the M720Q. I already did a review on this PC. You're going to set it in there, and then you're going to push it all the way to that side. It's not easy to do one handed. And then that's going to allow it to connect here. And then you want to screw these in so that it can't become loose. There's top and bottom screws. You can, you can see you can still access the gigabit Ethernet, USBs, and additional uh, video outputs. You can also put the antenna on, and once you shut this, there is a little spot that the antenna can come out of that you can knock out up there. Once you got all that connected, you want to use only the provided power adapter, not the one that came with the Tiny because it's not enough amperage and wattage. Once you get that guy plugged in, then this is now a Tiny PC. Let's start it up. Just single power button on the right, power's on, post, and now it's booting, log in, and there's your desktop. Let's go on and launch Google Chrome so you can see the startup time for that very quick, and shut down. And it's off. I've set up several of these tiny in one PCs and I really do like them. I think that it's a great idea because it is repairable and upgradable. I like that it works as a standalone touch monitor, but it also works as the tiny in one. So I think that's a great you know, value and design. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to add anything I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thank you so much.